Stray Dog was the title given to us by the, the biker patch on the man's jacket. So we met a man who had a lot of stories to tell, lived a lot of experiences that speak to contemporary America, but his motorcycle name is Stray Dog. That's what people call him. He, he feels good about that name. It, it dealt with his, uh, his ability and desire to, to take in strays. He felt like a stray. He appreciates strays. He's a champion of strays. Yeah. So what was the shooting process like? You guys like travel with them like cross country and just ride on bikes yourself or ride in the back of it? How was that like? The van. We were in the van. You know, the 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 more uh, the the less exciting van. But it got exciting when you open the door. You know, and you're going 65 and there's like suction on your camera. But that was the cameraman's excitement, right? Tori's just gunning it. You know, uh, but it is exciting. It's exciting. I can say, you know, as a as someone born a female, it's exciting to chase men down the highways of America. That is exciting. You don't, yeah, yeah exactly. Like you don't get that chance very often. You have to be invited. Um, it's exciting to see some of the rituals and brotherhood. Some of the energy in that brotherhood is exciting to be around. So the whole, you that's know, really, uh, that something that like you couldn't believe that, or you know, something. Oh, God. Um, on the motorcycle ride, maybe the number of people who brought along their little dogs. Yeah, yeah. Th that that you can be so clad in leather, and your bike can be big, and you can be even a big man. Or, and sometimes there's like a mathematical relationship with how small all the dogs get. Just really, these companions that can fit under the arm or in the back. So that was interesting. That was that was unexpected. Um, I would say some of the humor. You know, the humor, just that humor that happens among people who are feeling a kinship, you yeah, know. Because, and you know, uh, initially you would think these bikers are, you know, have this, like, tough personas or whatnot, but it's not like that at all, is it? Or is it? It's, it's, it's and. It's, it is that, and there's, and it's, it's a cauldron, it's a mixture, you know, so there is some true toughness that goes with what, what you're seeking when you seek wind therapy, when you seek the elements beating against your skin at high velocity. That is already something tough, you know. I mean, there's some desire there to encounter tough substances, you know. And is this your yeah. first time at the uh, Spirit Awards? Have you guys been here before? We've been here a couple times with um, with feature fi uh, fiction films and feature narrative feature films. So this and is. How do you like it? Always returning back. How do you like it? I'm so glad. I think the organization has gotten powerful in in the right kinds of ways. The arms of of its where it reaches to have really expanded in terms of nurturing filmmakers, educational programs, laboratories, both on the East and West Coast. So it is exciting to see that instead of these independent uh, organizations contracting, they've their roots have gotten stronger, I feel. I, I mean, you know, right now we look for optimistic things. This is one of them, I think. And I think the renaissance of documentary, you know, is, is a, a, for a lot of filmmakers, it's just another opening to be American storytellers or be native or it doesn't, this is international, sorry, it's not about American, it's about being storytellers, you know, if that's your chosen career and desire, documentary opens some doors there.